going on guys, it's Daylife1777 and today's video is going to be on an app for the iPad. It's Avid Studio, which is uh, pretty much a movie editor where you could create you know, little movies. Um, it's pretty much the same thing as iMovie except with a lot more choices and a lot more professional effects. It's the same exact price as iMovie and I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons and it's just pretty much an overall review of the app itself. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks. All right, guys. Well, here is the Avid Studio app. Let's get right on it. This is the uh, pretty sleek menu. Um, I kind of like the iMovie one better, but this one works fine. Uh, no complaints there. Um, let's see. I got a test uh, video here. Now you get prompt with the storyboard. Pretty much, you know, same exact thing as iMovie. And you could go here, albums and you go video clips whichever videos you have uh, I have here a couple let, let me pick this one now when you click the tab you could preview the video before you put it in the storyboard unlike iMovie which you cannot so let's say you do like that video clip drop and drag into storyboard simple as that right there your whole video is there now Let's say you want to cut the video, slice the video, add a transition, or add some pictures, or just cut the video because you don't like that segment. Go right here. Let's say... Cut it right here. There's a little razor picture. You click that. Click video. Your video is now cut. Now let's say you want to delete the segment. Click the segment. Little trash can, the little trash bin and that part is completely deleted now you want to add of course uh, the a montage you have the choice of doing that unlike an iMovie which you do not not bash bashing on iMovie, iMovie is great but this seems more serious even though you're editing on an iPad but you have a lot more choices here are the montages you could pick a bunch of them and they're actually pretty cool let's see let's pick uh, this one right here and preview it look at that now let's say you do like that one drop and drag there you go now it does have to render which is the only downside but the rendering is really doesn't take that long guys you know once you edit the video you could leave it there for about um, you know three five minutes to render it takes sometimes it takes less depending how much you, you edit the video how much stuff you add now Let's say this uh, right here includes a picture and a text. So now you want to add a picture. Just random picture. Let's see. Um, I like this picture here. Cool. Now you drop and drag into that segment in the montage. And it's going to tell you, do you want to put it in the slot for number one? Yep. There you go. Now when you play it, it's going to do that. Show your picture. And right there. Let's say you want to add some text. Double click and here you go. You could edit the text and it'll be called Trip to the Fair. space oops now you can pick the size of the font you can pick the fit you have pretty much choices for anything you have uh, you can pick the color of the text let's see let's set it up here blue cool so there um, font you have bunch of choices for font which I find that to be awesome now it renders and let's see the final result the picture comes out trip to the fair and there you go now of course you're gonna want to add a transition there's only two, two transitions right now which kinda sucks but I'm sure future updates will add more pick it drop and drag you can make a long transition and let's see here what it looks like there you go now it's a lot smoother now you could add uh, sound. You have three rows to add uh, 
separate sound. Um, here you can lower the uh, volume of the video itself. And you go here to the sound. Uh, I'm not going to put any uh, music. I don't want to get any copyright issues and all that good stuff that YouTube likes to uh, hunt people down for. So let's add some random stuff. Uh, let's see here. Um, vehicles. Car horn. Preview that. Pick it. Drag it. Now leave it there. Now when you play it, it'll show. And what else? Now, let's say you want to add a title or just text to the video itself. You go here on the text with all the choices, drag and drop to the clip. It will sh render real quick. And there you go. Um, you type in whatever it is you want to type. Double tap on the video clip, and I'm going to call it Moment of Truth. Done. Now that segment will have to render. And pretty much this, you could drag it anywhere you want. I don't know if you guys can see that. You could move it anywhere. I'm going to put it right there. It'll render. And you got to click this button right here, the little gears, for the whole uh, video clip to render. Now, let's see how long this takes. It's actually loading up pretty quick. It's not taking that long. Now, this does vary depending on how, how much editing you've done to your video if you if you've done a lot of editing it will take a while but you know it really shouldn't matter because once your video is complete you render that and you know if it takes 10 15 minutes you have a pretty decent clip made on an iPad so right here it's uh, almost done I'm gonna cut the video real quick so you know get this done a lot quicker and it's done there you go. Now, once it's put on, preview it. And that's it. You could enlarge the video. Just to make sure you know it came out how you wanted. And yep. Alright guys, now let's say your video is completely done. No more editing done. Uh, you have the option here of saving it to your camera roll, sending, sending it as an email, Facebook, YouTube, or Avid Studio on your PC for further editing. Um, now, I've been having issues where I've tried to upload it, my video straight to YouTube from this app and it hasn't worked. For some reason, I get an error. So, I've, just, I've been just saving them straight to my camera roll. It doesn't take that long, obviously, setting up to your camera roll. So uploading it to YouTube has taken a while and I've waited a long time and then at the end I get an error. So, that kind of sucks. Um, the app has crashed on me a couple times. It hasn't really been a big deal due to the fact that it crashes, I open the app, and everything that I've done has stayed intact. So I haven't lost any, any editing, which is good. So as long as I don't lose my editing when it crashes, I don't care. <laughs> but um, other than that, guys, um, I've been hearing that there is going to be an update um, in May. Um, I hope they add 1080p uh, video, which... I'm sure would probably take a long time to render, but I'm sure they could, you know, Avid could figure out somehow with this new iPad, the quad-core graphics, um, the one gig of RAM to s speed things up. Um, it doesn't look like there is Retina support right now, but it's really not that big of a deal. It still looks great. All right, guys. Well, that is Avid Studio for the iPad. Overall, this is 
by far better editing than iMovie. Um, the good thing about iMovie is iMovie is uh, you know just more simple. Um, but Avid Studio, if you want to get a little more serious, you know, if you're editing on the go and you want to do some editing, then transfer it to your computer. You could do that, and it's it just has a lot more options. There will be future updates. I heard there's an update in May for it, so hopefully that adds you know 1080p support, um, just um, reduces the app crashing and lets me upload straight to YouTube because it has not let me update uh, upload. I'm sorry, upload straight to YouTube. So overall, I I think this app is great for $4.99. You really can't beat it. If, if you have iMovie and you want to try this out, I highly recommend you do. It's only $4.99. Um, so other than that, guys, if you have any questions, uh, leave your comments, concerns below. Like my video, subscribe. And that's it. Thanks, guys. Peace.